Hi guys, I wanted to give you an updated Luna Minder tour and this will be everything through the season's greetings for 2021 <laughs> um, and just show you guys all of the stuff I have from uh, the 12 promotions and all of their ridiculous fan sign photo cards and that whole nightmare but I figured I would do this now before we get anything else from them. So this first binder, there really isn't anything new. This was pretty much complete when I did it last time, so I'll kind of go through quickly, but I'll fix a few mistakes I made last time. Um, someone just pointed out that I misspoke in the other video where I said this front page has the attendance cards with their respective colors, and that is true for all of them. But Heejin, where her attendance card was white and her color is actually pink, which we know, like a hot pink compared to Vivi's lighter pink. Anyways, as always, I'll link what kind of binders I use and the like art for some of these characters. And sorry, there's a glare. Can't really control it, but... Okay, we have the solo cards for each member. And these are all first press with the like hollow backing. And then we have the individual cards. Oh my god, did you know that I still haven't fixed this? We're gonna do this now because I clearly forgot after last video too. Okay, that's been fixed. It's almost like I haven't opened this binder since the last video. <laughs> now that that's been taken care of, I can't bother me anymore. Yay. We have the uh, one third photo cards, the normal and limited. Odd eye circle, normal and limited for both the well, and this was true for the other ones, the original and then the repackage. And then we have our one set of normal and limited for by Y by Y. The plus plus album. And then the unit cards from the albums, and then these were from Luna Studio, obviously. We have XX, or Multiply Multiply. The Signed Luniverse cards. These were the Orbit cards, right? Not the Season's Greetings. I can't remember. Um, and one thing that someone pointed out to me is that um, even in one of these binders, which is PVC free, um, so don't worry about that component, um, it probably wouldn't hurt to have these in clear sleeves. And that is kind of my goal, um, but this is a lot of sleeves to buy. <laughs> so I've kind of been putting off doing the sleeving of these cards. I know I should, but in the meantime, just you know, sleep at night knowing that these are PVC free binders. Um, that's one thing I specifically look for for all of the binders I own. I'm sorry Eve is getting kind of a bad glare here in the corner. And I'll say this just in case this is the first time you're watching one of my videos. I've talked about this a lot, so I'll try not to be a broken record. I do um, find these sets frustrating because they usually are a lot of the repeats or, you know, like not repeats, but very similar poses, um, especially because they're all selfie cards. and. I have a love-hate relationship with selfie cards. Now, I still do love these sets for their um, So What album, and even though they're mostly selfies, some of them are still really gorgeous. And I mean, that's not to say that, like, look, they're all beautiful, so all of their selfies are gorgeous. But I like when they're, like, different styles, like Hyunjin 
repeats the same face like all the time. So um, that's my thought. And obviously I was really hopeful at the end of my last video that the Midnight album would not be all selfies. And it wasn't technically all selfie cards, but it was mostly selfie cards. And pretty much all of the pre-order or fan sign benefits for that were also selfie cards. Um, these were the My Music Taste cards for the Hash album uh, as the benefit. I don't have a little like label for it here because I there was only one, so I can remember what it is. That changes for the Midnight albums. But here are the showcase photo card sets. And I did really like this set just in the sense that they did mix it up a little bit more. And I think they're doing a bit better with how they put together these massive sets, at least for the season's greetings this year. They're a little more different between members, or at least like some might be similar, but again, I'll never forget the like five of the same photo for Hostel's set um, from the, was it the premiere showcase. I can't remember the name right now. But at least I think they're trying to be better about that. And then how I have this broken down, I have my little group card from Luna Studio, my first Orbit and second Orbit card, and I did, of course, join Orbit 3. And then I have the broadcast cards from the High High promotions for Hustle and Vivi and then Jin Soul. And as I've mentioned in other videos, Hustle is my alt from Luna, and then Vivi is my second alt from Luna, and then... It kind of depends. Um, Jinsoul is one. Um, Heejin and Kim Lip actually jumped up a lot after Midnight. And like when I say they jumped up a lot, I mean, I kind of have a list of favorites, but like I, I genuinely love all of the members. So I kind of am trying now to figure out how I'm going to go forward with collecting like rare items. Um, I'm still sticking to Vivi. But I loved my interaction with Cherry and the fan signs I was able to get into. I really loved interacting with Heejin and Kim Lip as well. I mean, all of them were great, but like some also just kind of like stick out a little bit more for you. So I don't know. I haven't decided how I'll go forward with like the rare cards. But yeah, so hi hi. And then this hustle through this cherry are all from Butterfly Promotions, and this round corner is. I think slightly more difficult to find. Um, that set of cards is slightly more difficult to find than the square corners, but they're all gorgeous cards. And then we have the So What broadcast slash attendance cards. I think they were again like you won them because they couldn't do actual promotions. And I've got those for Hustle, not Hustle, oh god, Vivi <laughs> and Yunjin. And then I have one extra sad little attendance card here in the back. And if you're curious as to why I have so many extra Yojin cards or attendance cards that is because her one of her cards was the most difficult card for me to get this one the little like red nose Yojin it took me forever to find her I could not pull her for the life of me so I had so many extra Yojin albums like I, I can't even tell you how many times I bought her card and eventually I like lucked into finding it like listed I think on eBay. I don't think I ever actually pulled her card. So I had a ton of this Yojin at the beginning of time. Like I sold all of them or traded all of them at this point. But that's why I have so many extra Yojins. It's because I could never get this card. So that's the first binder and now we will do the second one. Okay. So this is the one I think you guys are probably more interested in seeing because it has all of the updates in it. Um, again, I make these kind of bad little placeholders. Um, the art is absolutely amazing, but I just have like these little colored things in the background. Um, you'll also see some really shoddy placeholder like indicators for the fan sign and pre-order cards. I know they're bad. I just need to like be able to remember which fan sign set is which. Um, but yeah, so these were the light stick cards. And as I had mentioned, I have some of my extra attendance cards here as filler. And then here's where we start to get the updates because at 
last update, I was still missing, I think it was one chew card. And I have completed this. <laughs> so here we have these summer package cards that came in the pre-order or with the pre-order. And then these were the cards that you could get um, for attending the actual pop-up store. So they're holographic and I don't remember what the actual like cutoff was. Was it $35 or 35,000 Korean won per card? I don't remember exactly, but we've got their stickers from the summer package, the pre-orders, and then these were the hollow benefits. And it is finally complete because I got my chew card. I think I was missing this chew card. This is the one that I needed to track down and I have her now. Yay! <laughs> so that's complete. I'm using two extra C version cards as placeholders here. Um, this was the card you got with the clear PVC wallet. Then we have Olivia's set here. And then we have the K contact. Is it K contact? Yeah. The K contact concert card that you got if you bought the little, like, not a lanyard, but like the keychain. I don't know if I'll see if I can get it to autofocus or not. That's fine. So because I just needed to like line this up nicely, it fits to have the pop-up store card and then the K-Contact card here. And now we start with the 12 slash midnight photo cards. And you know, I was so hopeful when I bought this binder and did like last, last binder tour, this is where we ended. Okay. And now we are over like halfway done with this binder just from 12 and admittedly now the season's greetings. So. I made placeholders for all of these sets because I couldn't remember what they are, but when I made them, I like made them in a certain order, not paying attention to where the cards were in my binder. So like this one, my music taste pre-order has a little pink bunny, but you know, she's over here. And then I have my with drama pre-order with the yellow cat, which is Hyunjin. So like they're not in order. <sighs> Like, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to move all of these cards, like, right now. Anyways, we have the With Drama pre-order, and I did love these cards in particular. And actually, both these pre-order sets were pretty solid. The With Drama holo cards are gorgeous. This is definitely one of my favorite sets, if not my favorite set. Um, the My Music Taste pre-orders are also really nice, and I do appreciate that we got, like, the music video outfits. Those are quite cute. And now we have the album cards. So the way I chose to organize them, and I think I've seen a lot of people organize their binders like this, is by a member. Since we had three cards per version, just lays out nicely. So I will for this say which card I think is my favorite for each set. And there were a few gripes I had with some of these cards just because initially I was going to try and put together member sets, but then like Heejin and I think it was Chu and maybe Olivia, none they had no non-selfie cards. So like a lot of the members at least had like one or two of these either non-selfie or like further out cards like this. We just got straight selfies from Heejin and Chu and I think Olivia. We'll find out in like two seconds if I'm right about Olivia. So um, from this set for Heejin, I think my favorite card is her D-version hat card. And I did, I do love the D-version styling and most of the D-version cards. I also do really like this Heejin card. I think the, the lighting in it is really pretty. And then we have Hyunjin. We have the infamous Hash Brown Kenjin card, and I still can't believe that these were at one point selling for like over a hundred something dollars. That's crazy. <laughs> but, you know, I was really lucky I got this from uh, K-pop CDs. Actually, he hosted a group order, and when he sorted a bunch of them, like it worked out. Like I had a bunch of albums with him, and thankfully I was able to get it from sorting then before we all realized that it was going to be super expensive and hard to find. Um, so that's probably my favorite, and then this is probably my second favorite. One of these two would be my second favorite for Hyunjin's set. And then we have Yojin. Her cards are so, so adorable. This card is probably my favorite, followed by this red card here. Like, this A version is so stunning as well. And then Vivi. I had the hardest time pulling Vivi's cards. I 
you know, there was one card that I actually never pulled at all. In most cases, I would trade for a card and then would end up pulling it because if you didn't realize Luna's promotions land, like lasted, I don't know, a half century. <laughs> I feel like I was collecting these Luna cards with getting new albums because I was stupidly participating or trying to participate in pretty much everything or at least get the pre-order benefits for those things. Um, so I had like Luna albums coming like every few weeks um, until, I don't know, January, uh, something like that. But yeah, I never pulled one shoe card and I'll show you which card it is. But I also had a really hard time pulling Vivi, which, you know, worked out. I traded a lot for her, but I could not pull her cards for some reason. In terms of favorites, I think my two favorites, probably this D version and this A version, but I think this A version might be my favorite from her set. It's so gorgeous. And then we have Kim Lip. And I'm still planning to do a fan sign discussion video. But I'm kind of debating if I record myself talking and like actually show my face. Um, or if I like blur my face with the fan sign videos in the first place. I haven't decided. Um, so that's part of why it's been taking so long. And part of the other thing is that it's just, I've been busy and that's a nightmare. Um, <laughs> but I had really good fan sign experiences with all of the members, but I think Heejin and Kim Lip and then Cherry stood out the most to me in my interactions. Um, so that was really interesting to me. I kind of expected a different, like a few different members to maybe like stand out the most. Um, but you know, that's part of the fun of being able to do a fan sign. Um, but for a favorite card, I think my favorite card for Kim Lip is this set, or this one, because of course I love the non-selfie cards. But um, after this card, it's probably this selfie. I really just like the coloring in this one for some reason. Next for Jinsoul, my favorite fan sign card is this one. It's so cute. <laughs> And then I think my next favorite is actually the one right next to it, her little winking hat card. And then Cherry. I, so I think like Cherry is really, really good in fan signs at being like really engaging. And in my, I was lucky enough to get into three fan signs by the end of this whole process. And I think Cherry recognized me right away in the second fan sign. And I don't think the other members really did. So that stuck out to me. and is sweet. So um, I think from Cherry's set, my favorite is just this one with the cherry because of course. And then I think this one is my second favorite. I think for Eve's set, well, A, don't take this the wrong way, but I hate all of these cards. <laughs> Hate's maybe too strong, but I, they're, they're very similar cards. And I don't like these blue contacts that they made her wear. One of my friends on Instagram very nicely was like, it's White Walker Eve because her contacts do kind of look like that. Um, my favorite from this set is definitely Yeehaw Eve and probably this one. And then I like this card a lot as well, which you can't even see because of the glare. But those would probably be my two favorites from her set. And then Chu this this card. I could not pull this card. And let me tell you, when I say I couldn't pull this card, by the end of this, I had opened, I think, somewhere between 250 to 300 albums. And out of all, now I understand, like, that's not 300 albums where I could have pulled this card because it's like roughly split between all of the versions. But that's still a lot of A version card, like albums that I opened that I never pulled this card from. Like it was impossible. So I was really relieved when I finally found a trade for it. But yeah, never could pull this card. Every other card I like had traded for, I did end up later pulling in an album, except for this one, this card. But uh, favorites from this set would probably be... Uh, hmm. I really like this card from her set, and I also think the Winking D version card is really cute. 
And now for Goan's cards, I think my favorite, hmm, it's kind of like really close between these two. I love the C version styling, but I also really like this. So I'm going to just say this whole row is my favorite, though this card I think is really adorable. I do like this D version card a lot. I pulled a ton of this card. I think this is the card I pulled the most. And I think in total, I pulled it about 26 times. Um, so, you know, actually that card and then one of the Hyunjins, one of the A version Hyunjins were the two cards I pulled the most. And then for Olivia Hye's set, I was right. There weren't any non-selfie cards in this set. I think my favorite is this B version and then probably this A version. Those are my two favorites from this one. And now we get to the nightmares. <laughs> And they weren't really nightmares. I should be less negative about this because they have good memories with them. And I do like having these full sets and it is a pain I inflicted on myself because I can't just be a sane person and go, I'll get two sets or just, you know, join some other group orders so I can get, you know, all of Vivi's cards or something. No, I'm crazy. So I did end up getting every set for the photo cards, except for the Joan music photo cards. Um, only because those were so expensive and hard to get. Um, I got Vivi's applicant card and Vivi's winner card, but both of them were kind of expensive. So I'm not planning to complete these, like those two sets. Um, those are gonna just kind of, I'm gonna treat them as rare cards um, at this point, which is fine. And then there were a few fan signs that either had, or like there was one pre-order, BBC's Oakvit pre-orders were postcards, and I do have the full set for that. And then the Music Korea postcards, they had an applicant and a winner set. And I'm not trying to really complete full sets for those either, just because A, they're postcards, and again, given the way they worked, where it was basically you buy, no matter how many albums you bought, you got one benefit um basically per applicant so you know can't find those for <laughs> reasonable prices really so didn't complete those um but that's fine I did get I almost have Vivi's complete set for those and I'm missing her winner postcard or her no I think I'm missing her applicant postcard uh, for Music Korea and then I do have a few of the other members like winner or applicant postcards and let's see I'll finish this too. There was one with drama fan sign that had a photo instead of actual cards. And I do have that, but it's obviously not in my photo card binder. So this was the first My Music Taste fan sign. I did not get into this fan sign, but I did get into all of the other three <laughs> My Music Taste fan signs, which is absolutely like mind boggling to me. But yeah, so I did not get into this fan sign. I have mixed feelings about this set of cards purely because they were clearly taken closer to So What promotions than they were to the Why Not promotions based off of the hairstyling for some of the members. So they're okay. I think my favorite from this set is probably Eve or Yojin's card. But yeah, it was just a little odd that that's what they went with for this fan sign. And then we have My Music Taste, the second fan sign, and this was my first fan sign experience with Luna, which I will again talk about a lot more in a different video eventually. I had really mixed feelings about this fan sign. I loved it, and I'm so grateful I got to meet the girls, but I also did not grasp how fast a minute was, and I kind of left the fan sign feeling like, oh my god, I've wasted my one chance to talk to them because I was like a chaotic hyper mess. Um, it was an interesting experience, I guess. Um, I've come to like recognize that that's just kind of how sometimes the fan signs go and they probably have a much, they don't realize that you probably feel like you're crazy, but it was good. And I'm not going to talk about that one more. <laughs> I'm going to wait until I talk about it in the video. Um, but I do like this set a lot. Yojin's card is one of my favorites. I also like Goan's card. It's very cute. Then the With Drama first one-on-one -on -one fan sign. So With Drama had done a fan sign for the full group. Um, I hadn't tried for it because there weren't pre-order benefits or any, like, 
fan sign benefits to trying for it. And I didn't really try for this fan sign. I bought what I needed for the the set, but did not get in and that was fine. I did try for Vivi's fan sign. Um, and then out of this set, my favorite is hmm, my favorite is Yojin's, but then Olivia's is a close second. I think this is a really stunning card for her. And then we have the K-Town for You fan sign benefits. I didn't try for this fan sign either. I just got what I needed for getting the benefits. <laughs> Yojin's card is definitely my favorite. It is so, so adorable. And then here we get to the kind of complicated cards. The Jo Eun fan sign for Vivi and then the Jo Eun winner for Vivi. And those are definitely, like, I love these cards. I think I lucked out. And that, I mean, I, I would feel this way, I'm sure, about any of the members, but I love this card. It's such a gorgeous, the version-esque card. And I really like her fan sign winner card, too. And then the third fan sign for my music taste, there was a single transparent applicant card. And everyone got that, like, for just trying and you got one per album. And then if you won, you got this pretty rainbow different group card. And then the second with Drama fan sign, I did actually try to get into this one. I bought, I think it was 30, I bought 28 or 30 albums, and I actually tried getting in for Heejin, and that was not enough. <laughs> um, so that was expensive, and I did not win, <laughs> which is fine, but I, you know, it is what it is. This is a gorgeous set. I do really like this one. Um, Heejin's card is my favorite by a lot I think it's just such a pretty card and I loved these outfits so much so I'm happy we got one for Heejin with the white like beret and then I think my second favorite card in this set would be Vivi's and then the fourth my music taste fan sign um I did get in I got to talk to them it was really cool I screwed up my recording for that one so I don't have video footage of that but that's fine it it happened <laughs> And I think my favorite for this set, it's really close between Goan and Jinsoul and then Yojin. Like those three are kind of all competing for favorite card there. And then the With Drama second full group fan sign. My favorite, I didn't really try for this, I just got what I needed. And then Eve's card is my favorite because surprise, surprise, it is not a selfie card. And then I think I like Kim Lips. It's just kind of cute and I like her little peace sign. And then we have the concert benefits, or not the benefits, but the concert merch photo cards. I have these at the back because I just initially thought that they would make sense like after the album stuff, but now um, I didn't expect that I would keep having to push them back with every new fan sign we got. I might put them with the pre -order, like closer to the pre-order cards at some point, maybe when I actually resleeve all of my cards. I'll do that, but right now they're here, <laughs> and um, I think out of these, these are tough. I really like Go On and Choose, but I also love Kim Lip and Yojin's cards. Hmm. If I pick a favorite, I'm gonna go with Kim Lip, but Choose is really, really cute. All four of those are solid. I mean, they're all gorgeous cards, but, you know, for the sake of picking favorites. <laughs> And then these are the 2021 Seasons Greeting cards, and I do really like that they tried to give us a good range of, um, like, poses, or at least they don't all look like the same exact card. They clearly do have some, like, repeat-ish cards, but it's not just, like, slight head tilt differences usually. I say that as, like, this is literally, like, a slight head tilt difference card, <laughs> but they're really gorgeous. Um... I think I tried to put these in sets, which basically means like I'm just making stuff up. I think I tried to do like winking cards on this page, but not every member had a winking card or some members had multiple winking cards. I don't remember. Um, so I think on this page, hmm, my favorite is probably Jin Souls, but Go On and Eve's are really cute as well. And then my favorite for this set, probably Eve's card, just because you get like some gorgeous background too. 
And then for this set, my favorite is Yojin's. And then I think my favorite on this one is probably Go On. But I like Kim Whips a lot as well. And for the last little set, oh god, they've moved around. Um, I think my favorite here is probably Jin Soul's or Olivia's, but I also like BB's. So, you know, it's a solid set. I really like the coloring in these, and I'm happy that even though there's still a lot, like it wasn't totally crazy and there were no pre-order benefits. Well, there actually that's a lie. There were pre-order benefits for the season's greetings. They just were like film strips um, versus photo cards and they didn't do like store specific differentiating pre-order benefits. So it's not like K-Town for You had something and Oak that had something. I would have lost my mind after that. <laughs> but I still just think it's funny because I bought this thinking that this would last a while and I, I genuinely have I have one, two, three, four, five, five pages left and I have two extra I have an extra go on and an extra VV here in the back. But that's almost a whole new binder. Like that's crazy. Like I'm almost out of binder space and last video I I had just started this binder. But anyways, that is the binder update for all of my cards post midnight and season's greeting update. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you were also in orbit, I'm sorry that Luna bankrupted you. I can relate, but you know, it's fun. It's fun. Collecting's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this binder tour and binder update, and let's hope that maybe for the next uh, comeback we'll get it soon, and maybe they'll be a little less insane with the pre-order benefits and fan sign benefits, maybe? Maybe? Probably not. But that's it. I hope you guys are all staying safe. I know a lot of stuff is happening right now weather-wise, so stay safe and stay warm. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!